Hey guys, it's Savannah here. I wanted to hop on and do a tutorial on how to make the planner pouches from the digital dash box. Um, the digital dash box is a digital subscription. You get uh, over 300 files, sometimes even more. Some months we've had like one month where we had so many different dashboard variations. We had over 400 just dashboards. Um, we have tons of files. It's a monthly subscription. It's $9.95 a month. You can sign up at digital-box.com and it is an awesome value, especially if you like DIYing or crafting or you have multiple planners and you just kind of want to get all of them set up and it's, it's so awesome and it's so easy. So here are the planner pouches that we put in the kit every month. They are digital and they are super, super, super easy to make. So here's what they look like. You can see this one. This one's top loading like that. So that's super cute. I love to put um, sticker sheets in here. I even like to print out an extra um, lined insert and I just stick that in here because I kind of take that with me everywhere I go. It's kind of my list insert and my just brain dump. And then here's another option. So this one this month has a cute little <laughs> zipper down here. So what I did was I laminated it and then I just took an X-Acto knife and I cut right there. So this would look really, really, really cute with like some die cuts stuck in there or some sticker sheets. I really like this one, it's super cute. So I'm going to show you how I make these. So first you're gonna see that there is um, the pouch file. So this is gonna be in a PDF as well as a silhouette file, cut file. So what you wanna do is um, open up the PDF if you're gonna do it by hand or if you have a silhouette, you can open up the silhouette file and print it out. Um, I printed this out on my inkjet, my Canon right here, and I printed it out on HD cardstock. Now the HD cardstock is amazing. Um, it's available, I sell it by the sheet at digital-box.com forward slash shop. It's a great way to try something out, um, see if you like it without having to buy an entire pack of it. You can buy a couple sheets and see if you like it. This paper literally is amazing on any printer. You can have pretty much a bottom of the barrel printer and this paper will make it look amazing. Um, so here's what you'll get, you'll see this. Now if you're gonna do it by hand, um, all you would do is cut out around all of the edges right here, cut each one out and you can see here I flip them. So they're horizontally flipped and I will show you why in the next step. So um, like I said, if you're gonna do it by hand, just cut these out by hand. If you're gonna cut them with your silhouette, you can just cut it in there, it'll register and cut it out. So then, you will have these two pieces. So you can see here, they're blank on one side and cut out on the other. Super cute like that. So then what you're gonna do is you place them together. So you'll see here, just line them up, and it'll be like that. So you'll see here, like that's when you're gonna get that pocket effect right there. So once you have it lined up, that's when I take a sheet of um, lamination and you just stick it in that sheet and you run it through your laminator. So I have one that's already done right now to kind of help speed things up. Here's what it'll look like. So you can see it's just an entire sheet of lamination and the pocket is in the middle. Um, don't mind this, my laminator kind of went a little bit crazy on the heat setting, <laughs> but you just basically have that. So then to make the pocket, you will cut out around here by hand, super easy. Like I just give myself a good amount of room around the outside. That way I don't have to worry about it peeling up and I don't have to trace the lines as exact. I think when you go out further, it just it's a little bit more forgiving. So then once you have it cut out, I will show you, I have one already done. And you'll have this. So you can see here, it's completely laminated on all sides and it is super cute, super sturdy. So then, to make the pocket, all you do is you cut along the top. So I will show you that. So I just take some just regular scissors, whatever ones you like, and then I just, so you just want to clip just that amount of laminating right there, so where the lamination sticks to itself. And then just round the corner a little bit, and there you go. And then it opens right up. Look at that. Super cute, super easy, so fun. And because this is a digital file, you can size it up or down any way you want. I mean, honestly, you could print it out sideways like this, and you can make a huge pocket, or you can size it down. 
I've even seen where like they hole punch it right here, which is super cute. I'll show you what that looks like right now. So all I did was I went ahead and I hole punched it along the side right here. And you can see perfectly right there. And then all you do is you put it in your ring bound and then you have a super cute like little pocket thing. You could even do like a little clasp on there or really anything you want. Get creative and fun with it. But I want to show you guys how easy and cute these are. They're literally, you saw me, it just takes, I mean, it could take literally, I don't know, three minutes to make one. And you can make it any size you want. You can hole punch it. You can even, um, I've seen some people do, if they have a TN, you can take them like this. So they're together and then they put a piece of tape down the middle and then it makes like a fold over cute little dashboard you know what i mean like it could you could do anything that's the beauty of a digital file is you can make it your own you can do anything creatively so that is our planner pouch that we have in the kit every month um every month i do themed towards that that like um theme that we're doing like pinks or foresty and it's super fun i really enjoy liking it um and i hope you guys like it too and again, you can sign up for this kit at digital-box.com and I hope you love it.